Hello and welcome to another Mountain Top Reviews and today we're looking at a Taiwanese whiskey uh, one of which we've uh, reviewed from before, uh, Cavalan and this is the Cavalan expression which is simply called uh, King Car Whiskey that's uh, the title, King Car Whiskey which is a Taiwanese single malt as I say from the Cavalan group and we reviewed a Cavalan expression before on this channel a uh, link of which you'll find up there later on. So this one, as I say, is uh, the first from the Cavalan distillery to actually call itself King Car Whiskey. There's no age description on it. It is simply told that it is 46%. This is a miniature 196 ml uh, bottle <coughs> sent to us from the makers to get our, our unbiased opinion on. Uh, so let's do that. There's very little to go on on the back, as I don't uh, speak Taiwanese, I don't understand these characters, so that's going to be of no help whatsoever. However, it does say at the, uh, the front, very modestly, that this uh, is vivid amber, that is as passionate as ever. So that's all we have to go on. Passionate, amber, single malt, 46% Taiwanese. Those are the bullet points. Let's have a look at that colour in, uh, in the great outdoors. They're uh, definitely right that it is very amber, very rich colour, very inviting, all very promising. Nice promising start as far as the colour is concerned. Now, try not to slip here. Let's see what is in store, liver wise. So, uh, really, really, really sweet. Mm. Really uh, easy to drink. Absolutely no harshness whatsoever. No bitterness. Um, incredibly, incredibly easy to drink. Probably one of the most liquid, light whiskies, as I would, I would describe it. Definitely not heavy at all. Uh, extremely, extremely light on the palate. Mm. Extremely light. And uh, extremely sweet. Definitely a dessert whiskey would go really nice with a really thick clotted cream uh, or some dessert of that kind. Um, yeah, unusually sweet. Quite taken aback by its sweetness. Doesn't have a huge depth of flavour. You get some bitterness, you get some floralness. Um, Surprisingly lacking in real depth of character. Um, yeah, not a whole lot to say. I'm, I'm stuck for words because there isn't a whole lot to say about it. It's sweet, inoffensive, but it's not, uh, it's not setting my pants on fire, let's put it that way. It's not exciting me. So, uh, I can't really recommend it, to be honest. It's a bit of a letdown, Cavalan. Bit of a letdown on that one. Um, definitely drinkable, very pleasant in that way, but there's really no further dimension than just pleasant sweetness. Because everything just evaporates after that uh, into nothingness. And there's very little you can say about it after that. Um, so a shame, a shame. Um, I'm, conf I'm confused by it, I'm conflicted by it, because um, part of me does like it, it's a sweet, nice thing with a dessert, but um, 
it's not brave enough, it's not challenging enough, it's not exciting enough. Um, but it's a nice drink. Would I list it as an amazing whiskey? No, I wouldn't. Um, and that's where it begins and ends for me, I think. <laughs>